Something just happened again. Ah, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, good evening, good morning. Anytime that you are watching this video, I've reached your home. You know, my name is Hensi Oguche Pekin. But my popular name, uh, uh, my, my social media name is Comedy Airways. Yes. Before I talk anything, I want you to categorically look at this video. Just take a very good look at this video. After you finish watching this video, then I will talk what I have in my mind. Three o'clock at the moment, and the flood condition has been really, really worrisome. Houses have been submerged in flood. This is uh, New Okuaba. This uh, is the street behind Abimbola. Awoli estate, you can see houses being submerged in flood, gate and fences being uh, removed and washed away by the flood because uh, because of those houses besides um, dam that is causing this menace in Nigeria is a Cameroonian dam that is called the uh, Legdo. It was built in 1977 okay and um there is an agreement they had with nigeria when they were building this dam that nigeria is also going to build a a counterpart dam um that is called uh dasin hausa dam okay mm. this dam we are supposed to be two and a half size of this uh, lado dam that cameroon is has yeah. built already. yes that cameroon has built now this dam that was supposed to be built by nigerian government we are supposed to be the one and uh, uh, uh cushioning effect of dam the one that of the one has. that cameroon has and now this cameroonian dam provides um uh, irrigation to at least over close to fifteen thousand uh, you know irrig irrigation farm you see okay. this thing that you just watch very very important to just now this video we nigerians first we come out and hopefully say that is a natural disaster but you know this flooding that is happening that water is packing koji bayesa benue some part of uh, uh, what is it called in uh, other states in nigeria my brother let me tell you is a something that is called human disaster some person will be asking me why did they call it human disaster i believe you watch that video carefully the government of the day is using our mind to pray karo karo. But you know, we that we are Nigerian, it's like we don't know how to explain ourselves. Everything we like doing is on social media. No, look at the video again. Just risk thing. Then I'll come back and climb it up. This um, dam that is causing this menace in Nigeria is a Cameroonian dam that is called the uh, Legdo. It was built in 1977 okay and um there is an agreement they had with nigeria when they were building this dam that nigeria is also going to build a a counterpart dam um that is called uh dancing hausa dam now let me tell you something in the year that when cameroon and nigeria signed this contract to get ready to construct this bridge now they are telling us that it is not the dam that is the problem. That is because of the, uh, what is it called? Uh, that uh, global warming is happening. My brother, that one is not a problem. We are complaining of unemployment. Water is spoiling the food that us is supposed to chop. The house that us have gathered money and built, water is spoiling it. And our government is bringing natural disaster. How many times have our government drilled our water bodies? Liver Benway is my village, near my village side. In in Makwadi side, have gone there before. You can literally cross through the Bobenwe with your rig. The Bobenwe now is shallow that to the extent that the boat that is passing there, the canoe, will even be catching glass sometime. Yes, no, don't don't talk. I know what I'm telling you. But you know, our government are not drilling water bodies. And now, these water bodies are collecting plenty of water because of the rainy season. Have you seen any water port, any ship port? They say River Benue is a mic in Benue State. River Ninja is a mic. Have you ever one day in your life see that there's a, there's a seaport along that road? That water is shallow. 
Karaba seaport is not even functioning very well. Holy Lagos State in Nigeria have seaport. And the same fraud is happening because no government official is drilling the water body. They will give them mm -hmm. ecological fund, security vote, and all the money. What are they doing with it? What? What are you doing? What is the maintenance that you are doing with this money? They give you an ecological fund. You are not maintaining forests. You are not dealing water bodies. You are not uh, doing anything. What are you doing with the money? Go and tell us openly. Tell us. Let us hear. Because food security will begin to start in 2023. We are already complaining. Salary is not increasing. Bag of lies climbing up. Bag of salt is climbing up. Bag of, they don't want us to chop. Yeah? Look at it now. We are not blind. Now let me tell you something. Very categorically. This time I'm going to be very precise. Any person that you will be voting in this 2023 election, House of Representatives, Senate House, even your governor, let them be person that you can hold accountable. It is time that once we stand up and ask them, the security vote they have given you, where is the security? The ecological fund they have given you, where is the ecological fund? It is not a matter of carrying security everywhere and blowing said in one and one. Let us stand up. If they are not doing light, go to the government house, ask them. Government, we want to know why is water still picking our villages when they have given you a ecological fund? No. It looks like I'm uh, trying to instigate a problem. No. Hold on, trying to talk that has Nigeria let us step up. Let us become wise. It is time for us to begin to tell our governors, our senators, our house of representative people. We are paying them big, big money. It's our money. It is time for us to begin to ask them questions. What did you do with our money? Why did they give you security vote or social amount? Why do you allow them to kill us? They give you a ecological fund or social amount. Why is what they killing us? Now go to Koji State. People are just living. People are suffering. Go to Bayesa, food the house we chop in 2023. Water has spoiled it. Go to Bayonne State. Go and see the kind of problem that is happening there. Now, let us stand up for our light. Ask questions. They then come outside openly and tell us social security vote for, for this social state. Horse have used the money to do like this. And this is the progress. So, 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 so ecological money, horse have used it to repay this particular place. And this is the progress. Let me tell you, if horse that is youth, horse that is papa and mama begin to stand up and ask questions, let me tell you honestly speaking, they are going to do the right thing. And this junction I will lace my case. Because they say a hey, word is enough for the wise. 2023 is not a time where you waste your electional vote. Vote wisely. Calculation is the process of voting. How would I tell all of you? Vote a person that will live in your village with you and see the Wahara. Not a person that you vote and go and be living in Abuja and be, and be enjoying the policy of Abuja with our money. We don't want it again. It is time for us to vote representative that will live in our villages. Yes, what are they doing in Abuja? Which report are they taking to Abuja? From where you are living in Abuja, what can you tell about your village at that moment when something happened? You will not send deliberation. Let them go and check. When the problem has happened, you will not come. But before the problem, were you there to see who the problem? Did you complain before the problem come? Let's be very precise. Let's be very precise. Let's look very well. It is time to focus. Time to focus. Hold them accountable. Now we can do it because we have started doing it. Let us intensify effort. Let us intensify airport. We are complaining of unemployment. No seaport in Nigeria that is up to five that is functioning very correctly. We are complaining of unemployment. They are allocating ecological fund, this kind of fund, maintenance fund, what the fund, what are they doing with it? Let's hold these persons accountable. It is time for us to speak for ourselves. Nigerians, speak for yourself. Let us stand up. Their children are not even in this country. They are not suffering all this suffering. They are also suffering. It's our money they are even packing to the children of blood. I've talked too much. I'm tired already. I've talked too much.